in the last video we discussed what is the meaning of critical speed and in today's video we'll discuss what is Bankerley's method and how it is used to determine the critical speed of a shaft rotor system so if you see this image it has uh, said uh, it has a shaft and there are several rotors rotors could be turbines compressors gears etc so each rotor can be modeled as a concentrated load that is point load on the shaft so shaft is taken as a simply supported beam it is assumed to be simply supported in this case and each rotor is assumed to be a point load so with this how many degrees of freedom it is it has one two three four five six six rotors so six point loads so it has six degrees of freedom so how many uh, natural frequencies will it have it will have na six natural frequencies and how many critical speeds will be there there will be six critical speeds so let's look at a, a numerical where we calculate the critical frequency of uh, vibration by dunkerley's method so a shaft of negligible weight so we are uh, neglecting the weight of the shaft which is uh, of a 6 cm diameter and 5 meter long is simply supported at the ends and carries four weights 550 kg each at equal distance over the length of the shaft so there are four rotors of each 50 kg find the critical frequency of vibration by dunkerley's method take e is equal to 2 into 10 power 6 kg per centimeter square So this is the numerical where we need to find the uh, critical speed. So we will not be finding out all the critical speeds but we will be finding only the lowest critical speed that is the lowest natural frequency of this system. So Dunkerley's method is used to find the lowest natural frequency of the system. So as we have discussed in the last video that critical speed uh, is equal to the natural frequency of the system so omega is equal to omega n so that is called as the critical speed so in this case when we consider this uh, numerical over here so it has four uh, concentrated loads of 50 kg each so how do we uh, find the natural frequency of the system so we need to divide this into uh, four parts where um, in each case we put one point load so the first would be the 50 kg at the point b and in the second case it would be only the 50 kg at point c and in the third case it will be only 50 kg at point d and in the last case it would be only the 50 kg at point e being applied at the uh, simply supported beam so we know that for when there is only a one single point load so the natural frequency can be written as root g by delta where delta is a deflection due to that uh, point load so the below what you see is the dunkerley's formula so this is a formula which is given by dunkerley dunkerley is the name of a person who has given this formula to find the uh, critical uh, frequency of the uh, system critical uh, frequency of the system so how do we uh, find delta like omega n is equal to root g by delta so we need to find delta so in order to find delta we need to refer to the beam deflection formulas so these formulas would be uh, provided to you in the test of the exam so uh, if you look at the second row that is beam simply supported at ends concentrated load p at any point this is the kind of situation we uh, need to refer to so the formula would be um, y is equal to pbx by 6 l e i into l square minus x square minus b square for x greater than 0 and less than a so this is the uh, formula we need to uh, refer to in order to find the deflection for the concentrated load P at any point when we so when we try to do this so we have uh, we have 
calculating the deflection at the point B, YB is equal to when we substitute the numbers. So the load is uh, 50 kg and B is the, if you refer to this uh, left side diagram, so B is the right side portion, it is 400 uh, centimeters and X, and X is 100 centimeters divided by 6 into 500 is a length of the beam or the shaft into E is 2 into 10 power 6 uh, kg per centimeter square and 63.6 centimeter to the power 4 is the area moment of inertia so it's a circular shaft so I is equal to pi d power 4 by 64 so into 500 square is the uh, length square minus x square is uh, uh, 100 uh, centimeter square minus b is 400 so minus 400 square so that is equal to 0 0.419 centimeter so this is the deflection at point b when only this load is uh, only this point load is acting similarly we can find out the deflection at uh, c d and e respectively so when we calculate the natural frequencies how do we calculate natural frequencies once we get the deflections we can use omega n is equal to root g by delta and then uh, natural frequency would be obtained by omega n by 2 pi so once we get all the natural frequencies we need to apply the Dunkerley's formula to obtain the lowest critical natural critical uh, frequency which is nothing but the lowest natural frequency so which is 3.01 hertz as obtained in this problem thank you